In today's little video lesson, we're going to show how to add uh, photographs or other images from Flickr, which is a very popular photo sharing website. The new version of Blackboard 9.1 makes it very easy to add content from Flickr. So we'll have a look at that. First, I'm going to delete this image and show you how I got there from scratch. So first, a word about using images. You don't want to just decorate your lesson with images because you think it will spice it up or make it look more interesting. The research shows that that doesn't work. What does work is using images that illustrate. So for example, if this was a course in uh, economics or uh, international business, then an image of coins from other countries or money from other countries, it wouldn't just decorate it, but it would actually illustrate the lesson. So we'll go to Build Content, go to Flickr Photo, and now we have a search option. We can search just the tags or do the full text of the tags and the description. And I'm going to type in Euro coins. And now this is important. We're going to go to more options and look for license, Creative Commons, content to modify or build upon. What this means is that the images that it brings up for us to choose from have already been tagged by their creator with a license that says, hey, anybody can use this and do anything with it. We don't have to worry about copyright when we use Creative Commons content to modify or build upon. Click Go. And here's 667 items that have been tagged with the words Euro Coins, and they are all free for us to use. Now I happen to like this one. I can preview it and get a bigger picture of it. Or I can just go ahead and select it. Oh, and this is all the information that uh, the person who posted it on Flickr put in. So here I have the name. I have a description. I'm going to call it Gold Coins because somebody who's using a screen reader, uh, because they have a visual impairment, they need some descriptive text. I could view it as a thumbnail, but in this case I'm going to embed the photo. Scroll down, click Submit, and there we have it. Now let's do another one, and I'm going to show you the thumbnail option. So again, Build Content, Flickr Photo. In this case, I'm going to look for Euro Bills. Again, go to More Options, Creative Commons, Modify or Build Upon, Go. And here's there's 243 items. And I'd looked through these earlier, and I kind of like this 50 euro bill. That looks pretty nice. I'll select it. Put in the descriptive. And this time I'm going to put a thumbnail and display the original when the user clicks the thumbnail. And I'll put that information in here. Scroll down. I'm not going to do any of these other things. Click Submit. And now I scroll down. And here is the thumbnail. I click on it. And now I'll see it full size. And boy, that is a big picture. So that's why you want to use thumbnails. This way you can give your students access to large, high-quality, detailed photographs without breaking the bank in terms of their download speeds. Now, if I don't want to show all these tags, all of this data, I'll go ahead and edit. And I'll scroll down. And I'll say... I'll just remove it and submit. And there, all that stuff is out of there. Now, let me do one more. And again, more options, Creative Commons, modify or build upon. I'm going to select this one. And so I don't want to have to go back in and edit that information out. So when I first uh, set it up, 
I can show the Flickr URL, show the Flickr information. I say no to that, and then it will come up, and it won't show all of that detailed information that the person who uploaded it uh, set up. So that's it in a uh, nutshell, how to use the feature of Blackboard 9.1 to add Creative Commons licensed images from Flickr.